What's at five? I don't know, some gathering. I don't know, I missed it last time. <laughs> strong on this. Um, so like this music right here is really well placed. You know on your camera stuff be careful like with focus and stuff you know this is a little bit you know because it goes in and out right there right so as opposed to like if it's supposed to be like he's in a daze, so it's all out of focus and like lean into that. When it cleans there, you're like, oh, it was just out of focus. And okay. Now they're rocking in and out, you know, or it's like if you want it to be like he's focused here and then keep your focus, you know, get rid of your autofocus or any of that stuff so that you're here. So now he walks out of focus, right? Like then make that an, in an intentional decision. Mm -hmm. Is he an actor? Is he supposed to be here? No. Okay. 
So, because this, this can make two points then, right? Like, shoot it again without him mm -hmm. so that you get the shot you want. Or if he is or you liked it, then again, lean into it. And what I mean by that is I would have you react to it, mm -hmm. right? So that it's, you come through the door and make it like he's just another thing that's aggravating. You know what I mean? Like, cause he actually looked at you, yeah, he right? Like, he kind of looked, yeah. you, like, you should be doing that. You should be like, what? And like, slam the door open. You know what I mean? Like, like play that up. Be like, move, okay. you know? Like, I'm walking over here, you know? Like, let it let it happen. Like, that's your emotion, right? But if he's not supposed to be there, if he's not an actor, reshoot that. Mm -hmm. that doormat because you know it's a montage here mm -hmm. so there's no gnat anywhere else okay. and you're supposed to be like listening to the music and you're in this moment you're not hearing you screaming as you're fighting you're not hearing any of that and then you just hear like a gnat door okay. it's it sounds like a mistake yep. yeah So I do like an engine light shot here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I would shoot that tight, so it's like you're like, fuck, right? And it's like you do a nice move and push in on that, and it's like clear and it's center, and it like maybe racks out of focus, and that dissolves down to the black. Mm -hmm. So like that's a nice natural like scene transition then for you. Okay. Okay. And again, that's like the little things that bring it up like a notch, like those little details like that, that detail work is like, yeah. you know, the ligaments that like keep the knee functioning, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up? How's your name? So shitty. Well, I would have a no. Focus things again, right? Like, like this is all pretty soft. I don't know what level of cameras you guys have, but still like, you know, you're losing all your detail, right? And we want to focus on you guys, like that looks cleaner than you do. So shitty. Well, I would have a no. I mean, you know, I filled my test, and then when I went to go to my interview for my internship, my car wouldn't start, so obviously I didn't get the internship I needed for the summer. And me and my girlfriend broke up last night. What are you saying there? Me and my girlfriend broke up last night. Okay, pretty important. So again, same things we talked about audio yep. and the other thing. I'm so sorry. Yeah, shitty. Hey, Nicole. Hey. Are we still on for tonight? is when he comes out of the snow here and we turn around and we see the clouds and whatever it's supposed to be spring or summer yeah like acting thing like storyboarding flocking lose the hood yeah. drop his coat you know like i wasn't sure i'm like is it still just you know again also because when we're really filming you know we are seeing little bits of snow so you yeah. can't control that obviously with the timing and what you guys are doing but just keep those things in mind because those other visual cues when you're blocking shots out will make it clear like get it it's the seasons passing he's like got this impression going through like the course of what is a year i guess because it's what we see in all four seasons you know like still look i know it's supposed to be the depressed walk but it looks like he's freezing his ass off walk you yeah. know what i mean as opposed to like you know even if you want to keep the hood up because that's signaling like that i'm down in my mood at least be like you know drop the jacket off and kind of list like you know 
shove it in the bag or throw it over your shoulder with the bag or something so that we know it's like a cue. Again, with the music here, I wouldn't cut to black. I would do a nice mm -hmm. dissolve down. Actually, what's funny is you could probably reverse this and have a nice effect because that that bell, that note, wait, that, that piano chord, instead of a dissolve up, that's like a cut on that. A cut on that. You know okay. what I mean? So you dissolve yeah. down out of the shot where it's like sort of, you know, the, uh, that drill in there, and it's like, um, you go down and with it, you know, right and then we hit hard on that, okay. you know, with that like door, boom, like no dissolve, just like bam, right on the door. Same thing, I'd lose her gnat. Nicole's gnat. Mm -hmm. Because it's montaging. It's a setup here. Hey, what's up? Hey. Nicole, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then I would just. Something needs to feel a little more final there, because it's the end of the film, and I wasn't sure if this was just another blast it was like I was expecting another scene here okay, yeah. I was expecting to see them like sitting at dinner or like something you know so it's a combination of the music is a big key here like dude, it's like it's sort of out they're still up okay, yeah. right music's over yeah. I still see them in the dissolve like it's not syncing up and the music the note that's being played it's, it's like, yeah. do you hear it? It's yeah. like, it's yeah. just something right there and it feels like it's starting to like rise again as yeah. you're, you're, you're fighting it. Like the music wants to come up yeah. there and you're trying to go down on it. So you gotta like edit that music so that it, it feels like this is it. This is the moment, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Cause that's huge. Like people are, the music cues are huge. That's what was so, um, I don't remember anybody's names, but the one Sophia. piece that was over here was that yours yeah. with the music Sophia, editing, yeah. like where the, the drops and those things hit. Yeah. Like yeah. that was why that was so strong, right? Like those moments where it's like the music cues were just on <coughs> every one of them where you were like, I know what to think, right? Mm -hmm. So like this music out here, we just gotta play with it. You okay. know, we just gotta find the right moment in that song, you know. Like I'd almost my first recommendation would be like pull the track, how does it really end? Like, go to the end of the song. Does it work? Because if it does, then you gotta find an edit point so you can back that in from here, right? Okay. If it doesn't have a good out, then you gotta build it out. Like, I don't know what you guys can do, like, here, but, yeah. like, that's what you would do in the real world. Like, I would go to, you know, Bill Lacey, who's, like, one of my guys, who's a Grammy-winning sound designer, yeah. right? Like, I'd go to him and say, Billy, like, this is the moment, right? This is the signature moment. Like they met, like like this poor guy. I was on for a year. He didn't take his head out of that sweatshirt, right? Like he wants to kill himself, and now he meets Nicole, and he's like reborn, right? So this moment needs to feel like a swell. Okay. Like we need to feel a swell. I'd almost change the music altogether, to be honest. Okay. Like because this was what was playing, right? This is what was playing when you were depressed. No, uh, they're, two, they're two different songs. Like they're different. Yeah. Similar though. Like, yeah. The same kind of vibe. So I get something. Actually, this is uplifting. It's just got to be done the right way on that now. Yeah, it's just got to have yeah. a better button. It's a good word. Yeah. It's got to have a better button because it is. It's it's hopeful. So you know, you got that swell right there. Like you just tease it and it goes away. It's like dun dun dun, and then it's where to go. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you just got to find a better edit point there with that track. I think another scene at the end would be really great too. Short, shorty, like you talked about. Yeah, I mean a dinner scene or something like that. Or yeah, I mean would, it wouldn't. It even doesn't have to have be because it, it's like the point of the film could just be that it's like it leaves you to guess yeah. like what happens yeah. in their lives. Like we don't. And, and we don't this know. is what happens. <laughs> What's that? This this is what our happens. second film is what happens. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Great. Yeah. yeah.
get that I just would say with your camera work mm -hmm. you know if you want us to be like looking at both of you equally then make sure the whole shot is in focus so that I'm just knowing like this is all present like mm -hmm. this is all supposed to be in my face I couldn't tell if she was just soft or if I'm supposed to be looking at you because you're not hyper in focus mm -hmm. and then she's way out so if you want to be looking, you want me to go back and forth, then I'd be playing this focused back and forth as they're moving, right? So I'd have you in focus to start, like you're like clearly ignoring her and she's out. And then it's like the focal length racks to her that she's clear and you're like 
and, and I think that would be effective mm -hmm. in the scene because you're clearly like not paying attention to one each other, mm -hmm. you know, each other, like you don't want to interact. So that individualizes you rather than if you shot it all clean focus, okay. then it's like, yeah, I'm getting it, but there's no artistry to it. It's mm -hmm. like, if I'm going back and forth, then you're drawing that divide okay. where I'm like, these two do not want to talk to each other right now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is something that you have to be careful of when you shoot. Your positioning is in the same spot and you're looking the same direction. So that means, you, to me, you're not looking at each other. This doesn't feel like you're looking at each other, right? It feels like you're both looking out some window. I'm sorry for that. Like, I'm actually curious, how is this room positioned in real life? Like, where are you both standing right now? We literally just, like, say we film like that, we just turn the camera the other way. So you are in real life standing here, yeah, basically. Yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you just have to be careful of that stuff that... Just that like you shoot it in ways that feel like the characters are interacting mm -hmm. this doesn't feel like you two are really facing each other it feels like to me you're on the same wall like i envision this room as the kitchen stops and this like hallway like here's the kitchen cabinets yeah. like that it's all one wall and you guys are both along the wall both facing screen left mm -hmm. so just keep that in mind when you frame things out that they need to feel like you're engaged with one another mm -hmm. when you block shots disgusting <laughs> it would be different if i was more so if i was on this side of the like if you were here in the other direction i guess we yeah. have a problem with like this. i would have framed her so that i would have yeah. And I would have only caught some of the light from this, and I would have used more of this table and had her frame right. Okay. Yeah. That way, you can stay frame left, but then I'd also have your angles changed. We were right? also struggling Treat, with... So that it looks like your angles yeah. towards each other. We were struggling with this room in particular because it had windows around the entire thing, and it was natural right light. out. Yeah, so... it's really hard to shoot with natural light like yeah. that. you got to, like, diffuse and put, like blockers up and like paneling yeah. and like um do you guys have duvetine like black duvetine? no i wish we did no yeah you should get yeah. like, a, like a 24 by 24 black duvetine if yeah. you can get it because then you can use that to hang and drape over lights like this and then you can also use it for like generic interviews yeah right so it's like you no. shoot a lot of stuff where you're like just hang duvetine because then you can go anywhere you can be in this room you can be in a hotel room you can be anywhere yeah you can just hang it on stands or you know you could like put it on the wall or whatever um and then you do an interview in front of it and then everybody is at least uniform this is if you're doing multiple interviews yeah. right so it's like if we know we're going to shoot like 10 people for this and we don't know that we're going to be able to make them all look the same mm -hmm. you can shoot over black and then you can dress it around the shot where you can like if you're real high end you can cut them out all of it and, yeah like, do stuff with it. but but it'd be huge for like your your like practical shoots like this yeah <coughs> So what was that? That was like a flashback to the first relationship. And how both For him, like, he's yeah. flashing back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, that's got to be made clear. I thought it was an editing mistake. Like I just was like, they tried to match the door. Like, or, or what was that? So I think probably what you need to do, and I don't know that you can do it now, but you needed to shoot something of you setting that up mm. that it's like the door closes and, then my face and it's like you being like you know it's got to be something like a cue that it's like fuck like yeah. not again that it's like we're going back inside your mind mm. and then we're seeing like you know and and you need to see you more in this right yeah. like i don't catch that with the dissolve like it's bright with the light it flares up the door closes like I didn't notice that it was you from the first movie, right? Yeah. So you need to go back and showcase that where it's like, I see you clearly walking out and slamming. Okay. And then it comes back to you being just like, like again, like this is like repeating itself, mm -hmm. right? 
I might also do like something with the shot itself as far as like, you know, the easiest thing is like make it black and white, but like something so that it looks dated, that it's a flashback, okay. visual okay. Cue, cue that it's a flashback scene and not just like, oh, we just cut to another girl in a room yeah. somewhere, you know? up there's no like no really hitting to just come up out of black like this and it's a bright shot so mm -hmm. I would just use a fade up especially with this music and it's like she's supposed to be down and it's somber and it's whatever like those like pace phase mm -hmm. will, will bring you into that Where So again, like this is more like when you guys film stuff to think about your scenes and when you block them. Like her body positioning here, like that she's like profiled, you know, quarter, quartering towards us slightly. And she looks down and then she's like straight on us looking down. It's a little bit of like a weird jump, especially because she's like in black and then she's in white. And it's sort of just like, it just throws you a little bit. It's not super agreeable to the eye. So that's stuff where it's like, you want to like block that out ahead of time to know like, okay, our scene, how does this scene end and how does the next scene open? Because you'll start to see this stuff like in films and TV shows and whatever, where she'll look down in this outfit, right? And she looks down and you fade to black and then when it comes up, she's positioned the same way and looking up and then turning to him, right? So you're like natural transition of okay. like moments of her oh, okay. going in and out seamlessly, mm -hmm. right? So you do stuff like that. Or you can do something where it's like, um, what's in this scene? Her, her water bottle, right? So she has a water bottle here and you move into the water bottle and then you come out of her water bottle here. So you're like linkage, right? Yeah. Like, so you want to do stuff like that. Um, and you just don't want to get caught in something like this, where it's like, she just sort of feels like she jumped and changed the shirt. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, it's all kind of flashing and happening at, in a quick moment. Yeah. Where are you going? We didn't hear you, Sammy. Are you thinking of a few days apart? I don't think so. Are you thinking of anything? And by we, you mean? So, I know this, this is probably the same thing I can see it's bright out mm -hmm. and I don't know what kind of like lighting you guys have access to mm -hmm. but lighting is really huge you know like it's it's real hard to see your face yeah. um, because it's like the camera wants to pick up all these bright lights and so it's gonna like blow out if you bring you up right like the skin tones are huge when you're filming anything right because it's like you know me and you are a nightmare for people if we're sitting together because I'm really light and you're dark yeah. and so then the camera's like uh, like what do I look at like what do I if, if it brings you up to see the details in your skin and your face and your reactions which is important here what you're doing I'm gonna look like like angelic like it's gonna be like white overload glaring right and mm -hmm. if they bring it down for me so that I'm in detail you're just gonna look like you know get lost in the coat it's all gonna look like one just blob right so any lighting you guys can do, I mean, literally stand here with your iPhones and put your lights on. You know what I mean? Have like, yeah. have grips, have PAs, like have people there, like over, just shooting your face with light so that you can bring up, right? Like yeah, we want to see your, really yeah, like we want to see your emotion here, right? Like, and we're kind of losing it, you know? And I think this is also why you might be having some focus issues in some of these shots because like this shot's pretty dark. So it's hard for the camera to like lock in on her and like, focus, you know what I mean? So you want to try and light stuff as best you can. Um, and keep in mind how light works. I mean, again, if Craig's still around, ask him. But I know the basis of it from when I'm on set. You have light coming from a couple different sources in this shot, right? You have a lamp that appears to be on. Mm -hmm. You have a, a, a window. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, I'm not quite sure where the light is that, coming that from. That door has a window. Door? 
Yeah, okay. and it has a window in it. Right, so I didn't realize that. So you have three different you know, lighting sources here. So you have to keep in mind, like if you're gonna light you, and I just blast the shot right here on this side of your face to light you up, that might not look realistic because we see that the light source is here, right? So the light should be coming from that side. These are things just to keep in yeah. mind. You know what I mean? Like yeah. now we could be like, oh, there's windows. So maybe there's a window here and it's coming in, but then that light should look this kind of lighting, not this kind of lighting, right? Yeah. Like don't have an orange glow on the side of his face here, have a little bluer glow, right? Because then that's saying, oh, there's another window here. So he's being lit up. Mm -hmm. See this? Like this is what I would do maybe, maybe it was on that door shot and I couldn't tell. But like this clearly to me resonates. Flashback, mm -hmm. video's affected. So like maybe this is what you do on that door shot. Like okay. it should all be the I'm same. I'm it was on the door I think. You I just, just don't can't. think it was that strong. Yeah. It was stronger. Okay, so yeah, because you want, you want to keep that consistency that it's all, you know, that makes sense. this to this clear. <laughs> 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 This shot here, we come back to it right after that? Yeah. Oh no, she was the other way. Um I would hold I would hold on this shot longer because it's really effective. I mean it's like super powerful. And I would let her look away. You know what I mean? Like she's got this like gaze. The shot actually continues where she turns around and does the turn the other way, which is what we cut back to. Right. We cut the, to her turning left, right? Yeah. So I would let it go a little bit more here Okay. so that we like, as we cut off of it, it's like, even if it's just like, just start to see her head turn, mm -hmm. it sets up when you come back and now she's turning left. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know that you want to go out on like the back of her head, like don't turn until you see the back of her head, but like just let her start to like look away. Mm -hmm. And I might give her more screen time on the last one too. Like if the shot holds, like if it doesn't get screwed screwed up in any way, mm -hmm. I would let her take like like one more step back and sort of like nod and then come to you exactly where you are. Like you're great on this, but I would just let her. I mean, this is your moment of truth, right? This is when you're in your head going, "She's the one." Like this is it, right? Like you're just looking back at this moment. It's like how I'm taking this is you're never gonna forget this moment. Like this scene with this woman walking away from you smiling and happy and joyful and if that's what's going through your mind right now as you clearly make the decision like this is, I've gotta fight for this or do what I've gotta do. Mm -hmm. Let that, let that play, let that breathe. That's a signature moment here, right? This is huge in, in your movie. And I'd probably, you know, we keep talking about it. I'd let this dissolve, let it ring out longer, man. Like this is a big, you know, that's quick. That's a quick dissolve. That's like a 10 frame or 15 frame dissolve. Like, you know, I'm, you know, I'd try two seconds, see what it does. You know what I mean? Like, let it feel like it's really like sinking in. That needs to sink in that moment. Okay. 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 Hey, how you doing? Fine. We talked a few nights ago and we're good, but hopefully we'll work out. Do you still not care what your parents think? No. I don't care anymore. Um, I really don't care what they think. I love them, so. So, just from a scripting thing, this is the first time we know that the parents had an issue of some sort. So now, like, my question is, is that what was going on in the opening scene? Like, yeah. you know, is that the Sammy rip? Sammy says yes. Yeah, so like, <laughs> if, if that's the rip, like, I, I feel like I, I need some setup of that somewhere earlier. Okay. You know what I mean? Because it's, instead of this feeling like sort of like a, oh, 
like this is an oh my god moment or like the surprise or like a reveal. It doesn't really feel like that. I don't know if it's supposed to be that or not. But it feels just sort of like, oh, information I could have used yesterday. Like I needed to know that so that when it comes, your moment of truth just happened. This is hers. Where she's like, I love him. I don't care. Right? But there's no there's been no emotional build up to that for you to like mm-hmm. feel for her to be like, fuck, like her this poor girl, like she like found the one and her parents are just assholes. They just don't accept them for whatever reason, right? Like and I don't even care what the reason is. You don't need to get into it. Doesn't need to be like explain like we don't like him because of XYZ. Doesn't matter. But it just needs to be something that it's like at some point in there, this is what's weighing on it. Like mm-hmm. this is for for her. This is where it is. It might not be anything you've done. It's just I'm getting the shit kicked out of me by my parents. And whether it's your fault or not, you're the reason why I'm getting the shit kicked out of me. Do you know what I mean? So so then her moment pays off when we get to her and she goes, I don't care. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm my own person. I've made this decision. This is my truth. Just like you just had your moment, then this pays her moment off. Right? Same thing. Dissolve whatever like make a moment there like it's just like we're off yeah I was just gonna say let that let that play right and and also like the, the two the two moments before, if they're more emotional and they're more drawn out and they have things we just talked about, that moment pays off there. Yeah. Because for me, watching it through, I was like, well, that oh, came out yeah, of that. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just, wait, they were going to break up and now he just was like, throw a ring at her. That'll fix it. You know what I mean? Like, you don't get any of this, like, really, like, compelling, like, passion and love story where you're both like, it doesn't matter. Like, it's just me and you. Right? Like, forget everybody on the outside. Right? That will help that moment mm-hmm. really come together. And then, like you said, let it let it breathe. You know, that's like your big. That's it. That's the movie, right? Like there it is. You got married. So mm-hmm. let that breathe. You know what I mean? Like I would have even suggested to you, and maybe you have it, when like when you get up here, like too quick. Just cut, like, like come from here and it's like I want like I feel like I want her hands to come out and, and you need to take her hands mm-hmm. and I want to cut to her and I want to see her smile at you and I want to cut back to you and see you smile at her I want to have a moment of recognition where the two of you are like yeah. we're right here right and then that's when it's like you like Michael Jackson used to always say like you gotta you gotta let it um percolate right and he'd be like you gotta, you gotta let it percolate sizzle Right, that moment of sizzle, and he would just hold it. Like his whole band didn't know when he was gonna start to play again. He would just stand on stage and let like people go freaking crazy, and they'd be like, "My God, they're passing out, they're going nuts!" And he's just holding it. He's just frozen. He's just waiting, and it's a feeling that like when people can't take it anymore, it's like, dun 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 dun, and he like does some dance when people are like, "Fuck!" Like they go bonkers. Yeah. That's what you want there. You want them like <laughs> looking at each other and holding it. And then right when you're like, dude, take that knee. And be like, boom. And then that's why then she, she pays off then to be like, you know. You know, and then that's when she's like, yes. And it's like, fuck yeah, I love these two kids. They work it out. Love. You know? <laughs> there was no credit. Or, yeah, credit. So, yeah. Love. Right? Mm-hmm. So I would let that like moment sizzle, you know? Okay. Good stuff. I like that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.